Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy has been heavily dependent on foreign helicopters when it comes to maritime helicopters which can perform maritime surveillance such as detecting enemy submarines and warships and attacking them with torpedoes or even detecting enemy aircrafts in the blue waters. Indian Navy has been using Sea King helicopters and for the replacement Navy is in process of conducting 24 MS-60R Romeo helicopters. So the question is, can India not develop its own naval helicopters as capable as MS-60R? The answer is definitely a yes. HL has gained significant expertise in helicopter development indigenously right from LH Dhruv and its various version LCH Prachand and light utility helicopters. LH has a gross weight of 4,445 kilograms and maximum takeoff weight of 5,800 kilogram. So if we compare this with naval helicopters such as MS-60R, it is significantly less. The Sea King weighs around 6,387 kilogram and its maximum takeoff weight is 9,707 kilograms. The MS-60R at the same time weighs around 6.1 ton and its maximum takeoff weight is 10.68 tons. The heavy weight of these naval helicopters can be explained by the array of sensors such as maritime radar, sonar and other sensors attached to these aircrafts to enable them to perform variety of roles. Besides, they have higher payload carrying capability. So in this segment, HL has not built any helicopters and this is where development of IMRH becomes most crucial. The naval variant of IMRH is going to be a bigger version than that of Army and Air Force and is being called as DBMRH or Deck Based Multi Role Helicopter. At present, DBMRH is at pre AON stage. The design and development process is expected to take about 7 to 8 years to enable realization of the platform, commencing from 9th year of the project sanction. DBMRH for Indian Navy will be in three variants, which will be anti-submarine or anti-surface warfare, special operations and airborne early warning. The most important components for these versions of IMRH are going to be maritime surveillance radar and dunking sonar system which will make them hunters in the blue water. So when it comes to maritime surveillance radar, India is again heavily dependent on Israeli ELM 2022 radar which is integrated in naval LH Mark III and Donier Doe 228 aircrafts. Now DRDO has developed a maritime patrol radar with sea clutter suppression features to detect even small targets. In addition to the standard air to surface search modes with track while scan, this radar provides high resolution range signature and ISR image of the target which enables the user to classify the intercepted target. There is an air to air mode to detect and track aerial targets. The radar has additional weather and beacon modes. It provides 360 degree azimuth coverage either in belly mounted or in chin mounted configuration. The system has been developed for maritime patrol on naval advanced light helicopters and can even be fitted on fixed wing platforms. The user associated technical trials of the radar has been completed on naval ALH. The next important component is low frequency dunking sonar or LFTX. DRDO's Kochi based naval physical and oceanographic laboratory has developed low frequency dunking sonar very similar to what is used in USA's ASQ-22 deployed on MS-60R helicopters. The development of an airborne winch for deployment and retrieval of dome is a quite significant technology leap in this sonar system. The sonar has overall length of around 1.5 meters and can be employed for anti-submarine warfare operations. The system is deployed using a winch system to dip in its various steps. The sonar can be used in both active and passive modes and can simultaneously process inputs from sonar boys and other dunking sonars to triangulate the position of targets in littoral waters. It is presently fitted on an advanced light helicopter as well. So the development of DBMRH in future will truly make India self-reliant in naval helicopter segment which would be capable 
of performing variety of missions besides greatly boosting the logistic capabilities of Indian Navy. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.